Good evening to everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Good. If you can see my screen, oh. type, type good evening. Type good evening, my big boss. Yeah. If you can see my screen, type one, one, one. Okay, good. Good. We can see. Okay. Kindly invite your friends. Tell them to join. Tell your friend, just invite the person to join. Let's all learn together. You are welcome to today's session. And I hope you are all doing well. Thank you. Yeah, yeah we are doing well. Okay. I'm also doing very well. So we wait for just five minutes, then we start. Maybe some few people will join. Okay, okay. Mm. Let's do some recap. Our first Zoom meeting was on, um, was it Candace Take Formation? Yeah. From there, we came to candlestick patterns. And then we came to market structure. We are still on market structure, though. And the market structure, we have a lot to discuss. But I choose not to just bring the topic, the broad topic again. We have subtopics under them. Trend line drawings, everything, they are all under market structure because you need to connect the lower lows and lower highs. Today, we are not going to do anything different from what we've already started. We're going to continue from the higher lows and higher highs, but in a, a different dimension or different way around. How will you connect two of those higher lows or higher highs to make profit from the market? So before we start to this lesson, as we are waiting, we dive into what we did the other day. So previously we discussed types of trending market. You have the bullish and the bearish. So we talk about the bullish market, and then we'll talk about the bearish market. And we said in the bullish market, we form something we call higher highs and then higher lows. Why higher highs? Because the next high that will be formed will be higher than what the previous high. So it becomes what higher high. And then higher low because we have a high. We also have a low, but the previous low will be lower than that of the new low that will be formed. So as you're going high, it becomes what high or higher low. So how do you present it? Right. So something like this. You form a high, which is higher than this high here. So call it higher high. Then we have to, we are going to get another low. Since we are going up, it comes at a higher low. It is higher than this low, so it comes at higher low. Then we have this higher high again. Higher low. This is how bullish market looks like. It forms these patterns and goes high. And to uh, begin to see something of this sort. Then it means a different thing is coming into. We're coming to have a different structure. So here I'm just going to connect all of them. When you start seeing this, this, this a high, but it's not as high as this one. 
So it becomes what? Since we are now coming low, it becomes what? A lower high. Then the low here becomes what? A lower low. Then when this low forms, also becomes what? A lower low. Because it's lower than this one. Then lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high. Then something different will, will take over. I'm just joining everything because I, I assume we all, all know what I'm discussing. Just a recap. Then we can have something like this. I just want to end it. We start having something like equal highs and equal lows. Okay, can just doing this, doing this, a little bit lower manipulation with the weak. Something like this. Something like this. Something like this. You can best, you can tell the movement is just at one side. It's moving sideways. It is not going down, it's not going up, just going sideways. So call it what? Consolidation. It's consolidating over here. Now, when market is consolidating, uh, what trader must do is wait patiently for it to break and give you a clear direction that it is moving before you can join. When you are here, you only take a buy. This direction here means you should be buying. Then when we are coming, when you are coming down, you should only be silent. Then when we reach here, you just stay away or risk your money. Those who are good scalpers can just take advantage of and then be selling and buying. They will buy here, sorry, they will buy here, they sell here, buy here, sell here. But if you're not good and don't know what you are doing, you stay out. Stay away, just relax for the market to do its own thing and to give you a direction that you have to follow. I think this was what we were discussing the other time. And we even, uh, we, we saw some examples on the chat, on the live chat. <laughs> Let me know if you guys can hear me clearly and if you are following. Yes, sir, we are following. Okay. This one couldn't give us anything, so that's because. When we come to advance, or those who join the mentorship program, we are going to go deep into this. go deep into this because we've not said how to even make money with it we are just trying to know how they are formed so when we come to the advanced stage we are going to know how we are going to make money trading this please try to mute your chat Obi, you're welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, so, so. I didn't know you join. I thought you needed to worry. Uh, I think I think we're empty, so. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, it was the border. Sure. We are doing good. That's nice. Oh, sorry. How for you? A day or back. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm tired, take over. Is it? I'm tired, then you take over. <laughs> I'm following you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see the number of people that we have here. We are 13. Okay. I think we can start. Yeah, we can start. All right. We never had any homework here, too. Ever since we started, no homework. I'm going to power them for you. Don't worry, guys. Prepare for more. By today's, by the end of today's lesson, maybe I'll get one for you. Then we measure our progress. All right, so 
Today we are coming to learn how to connect lows and highs using what trend lines. How to draw trend line properly. That is what we are going to look at today. So let me take this off. Okay. Let me draw. We have an uptrend, okay? Started somewhere, it gave us a low, then gave us another high. Give us another low again, give us a high. Good. As soon as market give you these two lows, these two higher lows, you are confident that market is going up. Therefore, pick your trend line or the two for drawing the line. You can find them on either MT5, MT4, or Trading View. Those who are already using Trading View, you can see them. I'm going to do a video on the Trading View, how to uh, customize it and how to use it properly so that you can analyze your market there. It is good and safer to analyze your market on trading view. You see everything clearly. So just pick your line and connect these two lows. Change the color. We connect these two lows. Since we've already had two lows, it means we are really going up. So you need only two points just like with those who did graph in secondary school or whatever you need only two points to join the line when drawing a graph the same thing applies to the chart when you have two lows or two highs two higher highs or two lower lows you can connect them to get what a trend line so as we connect these two points here We've gotten a trend line because we had two points. We had two points. Now, you can extend this line, just extend it. And since we are going up, we are forming higher highs and higher lows. Market will surely come near it, near it or just exactly at the trend line. Then, to give us another what high so at this point this is where we start looking for what buying opportunities as soon as market touch the trend line pair you have to investigate this is the third time it is coming there and that's the 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 time you have to what start looking for buy do not buy when we get when we form only two lows, market has really not confirmed that it is an uptrend until the third one tag the trend line. This is where you start looking for what a buy. You don't need much movement to make millions of dollars from the market. So waiting patiently for a nice setup is an ideal way of trading. So you need the third one to start looking for what? For a buy. So as market come to the trend line the third time, then you start investigating, start looking for candlestick patterns because we are forming high lows and high high. And when we form, when there's a pullback from a high, you know, the next one will be what? A higher high. So when you get your confirmations here, what you have to do is, to buy and catch this movement. The fourth time you can still look for what confirmations and buy. But anything above fourth touch, stay away. Even the fourth one at times can disappoint you. 
to just break the trend and then start moving to the downside and clear you out. So ideally, the best place to use a trend line or to buy with a trend line is the third touch. The third touch will give you a nice confirmation. So this way we start applying the candlestick pattern that we've learned. You see an, a morning star at this place. What are you waiting for? As a quit. We see a bullish and govern pattern. What are you waiting for? Take a buy. You see a tweezer bottom. Take a buy. The likelihood of you winning this trade is higher. Or your, your probability of winning is very high as compared to you selling. Because market is what is in an uptrend direction. So when you buy here, the market come to clear you. That one doesn't hurt much because your analysis, everything was correct. Only that market does what you need to do. Are we following? If you are following, we are following. So, just give me. We are following. Know, we are following. Um, okay, give me some an emoji. Let me see continue, that. Continue. Continue. Mm. All right. So that's it. We can still have the fourth touch, the fifth touch, because market has no change direction. Okay. Then you see a break. I'm going to explain further how or a mistake you can make. We can break here. Then you think, okay, Charlie, the trend line is broken, so I'm going to sell. Yes, you are right. You broke a trend line, but you've not done anything yet. You've not taken this low yet. Until this low is broken, never consider this uptrend invalid. It is still valid. Until you break this low, this higher low, and the market come here to break here. You cannot use only the trend line to confirm that we are going down. If you do that, market will just reverse against you. Then start buying again. So for market to break a trend line, you have to wait for it to break what? A low. So you draw this as a support. The low becomes what? A support. Which markets need to what? Break before we start going what? Down. I think on Friday, there was a, a signal like that, where I said, until the low is broken, we shouldn't look for what? A sell. Yes, market, those who draw trend line, market broke the trend line, all right. But when it came to, when you go to the support line, what happened? It reversed. It bought for some time. Before finally, it came back what? to break it. That is to tell you that until this low is broken, we are still what considered uptrend. Good. So now let's look, let's go to the chart and then see. I don't want to teach everything before we go there. Are you guys with me? We are listening, we are hearing. Okay. All right. 
So let's see if you can have some examples on the on the live chat. So that we'll have a feel of what we are discussing. I need the perfect one to demonstrate. Right, so let's take this and see. Uh, you know, just take this short one for demonstration. When you guys understand, you're going to do everything on your own. So let's take this as an uptrend. We have a low here, a high here, a low here, high, 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 low, high, high. We form a low here, but we couldn't form and the high, so market came down. You broke that low, went like this, and started selling. Good. All right. So this is a short up. Sorry, a short uptrend. I'm sure it's a replacement. We had a higher low here, higher high, higher low. We have 10 minutes remaining, please. When the Zoom and can you rejoin using the same link? So we had a high here, uh, sorry, a uh, higher low here, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low. We couldn't form another higher high. Market reverse on the fourth touch. Good. So that's what I was explaining. Good. So first touch. We had a touch there. We had a touch here. What is wrong? Good. Another touch here, the third one. It's supposed to be the fourth one, but it broke it. It broke it. So when market come here first, you wait for a nice confirmation. So this is what you're going to buy. As soon as market come and tag the trend line over here, what did you see? We see a hammer. A bullish pin bar. Nice one. On the trend line. Nice rejection. So what do you do? You jump in at the close of it and see the movement you will have catch. How many pips? Let's measure. We have made 103 pips. 103 pips. And that is okay for a day. That is enough for a particular day. Depending on the loss that you are using. So we don't take every trade to become a rich or a profitable trader. You have to be selective. In that case, your chances of losing will be what? Less as compared to your winning rate. So the fourth one, you don't care about it. You don't care about the fourth touch and that is why you will save from this loss if you had try or plan of art taking this trade when when it touch here you may lose it because some people don't even look for a confirmation before they jump into it some of might have even enter here because of seeing this something like even a morning star 
might have entered here and then market will go small deceive you and then this pin bar will just clear you out and you are out like that hmm? just out like that so that's it this is an example even though it's short but you can make money from it all right so let's look for another example on the uh, nas 100 nas 100 is a bullish market so we can give us a nice since the war ukraine and then russia war this pair has been selling almost all the pairs have been selling because the war is affecting it this uh nas 100 yes us us 100 it means all the 100 companies in usa these indices measure their progress amazon uh, zoom netflix facebook this is what measure their progress so it is hardly for you to even sell but they are all, all making profit though they are aiming at making profit so let's take this and look for a nice trend line we had our low first low here so we connect we just leave this line down Se second touch then our third touch here so what do you do nice and govern nice one here so you can choose to enter here your stop loss is below here you enter the close of this candlestick because this pair is a bullish market what do you do you can even leave it your stop loss is below the trend line here You enter here. if you want to be an aggressive trader you enter there but if you want to be a conservative trader you can wait for a retest because anytime you have an engulfing market normally retreats to half or even 100 percent of it before going up that's exactly what's happening here so aggressive trader they will just put their stop loss below the trend line here close their laptop or their phone they will not go there until their TPs are hit. They will either come and check and see negative or positive. But it's good to always monitor your trade at times. At times to fear of losing the little profit you've gotten, you make you close the trade prematurely. That is why sometimes you can hold a loss for a very long time. I cannot hold a profit for a long time. We are all made to what? To love winning, but not to i mean to hit losing no one want to see a loss but i want to see profit so in there you see some tender less better you start closing your, your trade you start closing your trade all right so on our tech third touch we buy the fourth one to bought but then what happened uh you could have made some profit if you want to go for the fourth one too but coming for the fifth one what did we see it broke it and because it is a bullish market the selling wouldn't go far though it broke this low but then couldn't continue the selling i'll pause for questions when we come back to for the second session we are going to continue with them um, how to draw how to connect two lower lows sorry lower highs for itself so here on a bullish market, we connect two higher lows, two higher lows. Since the market comes to the trend line on the third touch, you look for what? Buying opportunity. You take a position, you hold to wherever you want to take your TP, then you are out of the market. You can't harvest all the money in the market. No, that's why you need to be greedy. So I'll allow some few questions. We have only one minute left. Then when we come back, We'll look at the bearish, how to draw, how to connect to lower highs.
All right, any question? Any question? No question. All right, Mr. Joko, I can see your hand. Yeah, thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, the little challenge I have is that uh, yeah. uh, I don't know whether because I'm a Nino. Okay. I, I, I use uh, the phone. Okay. And to do this uh, tracing on the phone is uh, very difficult. Okay. So I don't know whether it is possible or maybe I, I can only do that on the on the computer. Okay. Okay. Yeah, doing it on the computer is ideal. But then if you are if you are already advanced and you are okay with maybe like okay with the phone, you can still do it. Sometimes I do analyze on my phone. So I think doing the same thing I'm doing here. But how familiar are you with 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 the tools? using the phone and how clear can you see it so as a beginner i would recommend that you use laptop as you are progressing then you start you can start using phone when you're not by your laptop you're in a meeting or whatever you can just use your phone analyze it and then you, you, you enter a trade but for now i would All recommend right. you get a laptop okay i'm, I'm grateful type yes if you can see my screen Yes, we can see, we can see. Good, thank you. Mr. Joko has not joined yet. Oh, I have joined you. Oh, okay, so <laughs> you are not saying something. <laughs> 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 You were saying something again, right? Yeah, I was just saying, I don't forget to do the recording for us, for so, practice. The first one, I don't know. I'm trying to see where it is converting, but normally after the uh, session, it will convert and then it will install on the PC, but uh -huh, okay, it is, oh, okay. It is converting, so. Okay. All right. All right, so. I, 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 I prefer to say, like, everyone should get a PC, especially if you're a beginner. If you have cafe at your place, you can even go to cafe. Eh? Just spend some few hours there or few minutes there. You can use them, the, the addition to study. And if you become good, using phone is easier for you. All right. So I think we can progress. Uh, we, we can we can continue. Yes, we can. Okay. I mean, I hear nine. Yeah, four more to come. Okay. So there was something I left. I didn't mention. When you're analyzing the market, you want to draw a trend line. Start from the daily, come to the four hours. You still have some trend lines over there. Go to the daily, come to four hours, come to one hour, come to 15 minutes or 30 minutes. Then you stop over there. Look for opportunity. So when you get a trend line from the daily or the H4, it means it is very strong. And the market respecting it is very possible. But 50 minutes trend line can really get broken. The market will go the other way. Because I don't know whether it is even retracing or it is going the, uh, that direction. But those who join the mentorship will be taught how to use the counter trend lines that one is a reserve or maybe when we come to the advanced stage that one there i may i may, I may even bring it here that's why i recommend that at least pay something small to show commitment for something that's going to benefit for a lifetime it's not something that maybe like people should joke with but like you know african nature does it understand <laughs> 
Right there. All right. So we go on, we move on. There are more to trend lines. So when we come to advanced stage, we're going to look at it. So we go to the downtrend. How do we join that one to market is forming higher, sorry, lower lows and lower highs. Yes, I have my low here, I have a high here. A lower low because it's lower than this one. So it becomes a lower low. Now this will come out also a lower low because it's lower, lower than one. This is a lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. Because we're going down. So this is what will be forming. Please, it doesn't form straight like this. When you go to the chart, you may not see it so straight like this. There are some irregularities. Market makers can just do something to clear you out before market to go direction. And those who like doing that are the institutional traders and then bank banks. They want liquidity, something called liquidity. They want money. So they have to clear the small, small ones. Then they have the chance to, uh, to trade. So when market is forming lower lows and lower highs, what we do is we connect only the lower highs. When we come to chart patterns, I'll discuss a channel, how to connect channel. So we have this one, you have two higher lows. You extend your line. Next time market comes there, the third time, look for selling opportunity. Yes, my Good evening. So, this is the first, second. Now, some people don't consider it, this one as the first one, but me, I do consider it as the first one. So, on the third is one, it's where you start looking for visibility. Now, when you sell here, you take position, you take some partials over here. Had an engulfing, bearish engulfing pattern here. So, you sell somewhere here. Your stop loss. Okay. Stop loss above the trend line over here. There could be weeks. Okay. Can be above the weeks over there. Okay. Now, your TP, you take your partial or your okay. TP here at the lower low, this lower low. Take your TP here, let some run. Who knows? This one may go as low as something like the way Bitcoin is going. You can just dip down and holding one position from here to till to, to, uh, you're a rich man or a rich woman. So you could have a fourth touch, no problem. You can have a fifth one, sixth one. So if you become an advanced trader, you know that, okay, the trend has not changed yet. So let me keep on at the position. So when market comes here, you enter somewhere here, market came here and show a sign of what? Continuing the downtrend. So look for another, you add another position here. It's another one, one, if you get a chance, add another position. Before you know, you are in multiple positions and the market is just coming down. So this one alone can even make you a billionaire. Never leave money on the table and get the opportunity grab it so i hope i'm done with this one too let's go to the chat identify this and then leave it i'm gonna use the same pair that's been selling i had opportunity to catch this sell uh, the first day started but then I was trading with some ten dollars, yes. And then is that let me see the place. Um, so that does it when the fight started at Ukraine. So I enter somewhere here, somewhere, enter somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. I entered here and then I broke even. Market came when it was going up, just broke even here. I took some $5 here, five, I made $5 on that $10, making 15. 
So I threw that one somewhere here. So midnight, I was sleeping and I saw that market came to claim me and the downfall started. I would have used that $10 to even make like thousands of dollars. But to date, it is still coming down, it is still falling. Can we see that? And it is still falling. I've seen a nice selling opportunity again. This bullishness has ended. That it ended somewhere here. So we have we had this and it is dropping. So only we're waiting for some kind of a pull back to this region or somewhere here, then another fall will come. They are all falling like the way Bitcoin is falling. All the stocks are falling, the indices are falling. Okay, so let's look for the nice downtrend. Let's see where it started from and see how we could have taken opportunity to grab that nice sell. Uh, it never moved well. There was one time CPI news. Yeah, CPI news moved this market from this place. So what do we have here? Higher lows, sorry, lower highs. This thing can confuse eh? This lower low here, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. Lower high, then the last lower low. I have to put this in before. Uh -huh. So this movement was caused by what news. So after that, I will still consider that one. So this is my first lower high will come from then. The next one will be somewhere here. This we have a core lows here, so you can pick any one. Then this is the second low like that so you can have higher lows in higher lows sorry for that instructions so you have me Can you guys hear me? Shit. Hello. Yeah, we can hear you. We can yes, hear you. We can. Okay. We can. We can. Okay, I thought my network got disconnected. All right. So I connect this one here. All right. This is the first one. There's something I'm going to show you later on. Not all pairs move in a nice way. Good. So that's why we have adjustment of our trend line. Or there are fake out. You got this here nicely. This is the second touch. Even the third one, yeah. The third one is just here. This is the second touch. Third touch, but some consider it as what as one. These two as what as one because they are of equal high. Now I'll consider it to be what to be the third one. Especially after seeing this engulfing tender pattern. I'll jump into this market here, pull it here. Now, if you are considering this one as the second one, then you catching this one as the third one, you are likely to lose this trade because. Market broke upward again, and your stop loss might, might not be far from here. Yeah, depending on the risk. That's why at times, if you risk low, you have enough space for the market to breathe. The stop loss must have enough space to breathe at least, because market manipulations will happen, things will happen. Now, after this has happened, market jump into what? Into this trend line again. So you have to adjust your trend line. This time it comes to what? your second lower high. So a third one has come here again. So what do you do? Look for an opportunity here. There was a gap here, a very big gap, which normally happen when market open on Sundays. 
So you can enter here again. Whilst your trend line is still connected, if you feel like continuing or to continue to sell, keep on selling. The other you have to add confirmations, add confirmations, candlestick confirmations and other things so that you know lose. Please, how much is the advanced class? The advanced class is not for, we are not selling it. It's not for sale. We have mentorship. Advanced, we'll come to advanced. All this we are doing just a beginner course. Yes. So when we come to advanced, more secret to be revealed. But those who join the mentorship will enjoy a lot, a lot of secrets. Let's continue. All right. The downtrends are more so. You connect this one. Here, this one fails to what? We had a fail higher high. Market was some high, uh, higher highs and higher lows. But when you go to this place, what happened? This one's supposed to form what? A higher high, higher than this one, but it couldn't. It fell. So market started dropping. Lower lows, lower highs. Lower low, lower high. Now here we have a core highs. So we consider them as just one, like that. So this manipulation came in here, like that, like that, like that. Now, so I consider this one to what? Equal high, so also the same thing. We have this one here. So until here, yes, until here we have this kind of this one again, something like that. Now, I'll consider this. This is what I'll consider. Consider this one one, two, three, and four, like that. So to continue. Because you can be seen that this effect. Okay, market was trying to change by then. Yeah, some small uptrendy. It's even a current uh, current market. But then let's limit ourselves to all of this place. So you connect. Let's connect two loads. This one first. Then we extend our trend line. We assume that markets has not even reached here yet. Okay. We assume this is the first time market is coming here. So when we got this lower high, we extended our trend line like this down as a trap. Anytime market gets there, we go to visit and check what is happening there. So first touch, second touch, third touch. And what do we have over there? An engulfing candlestick pattern. So what will I do? I'll just jump into the market straightforward. My stop loss very small, just above. If you want to be what conservative or maybe aggressive, you can just be put your stop loss here. Yeah. Give your stop loss some listen to brief. So no matter what market does, you will never be taken out. Even until here. So you still be in this trade if you have some positions running again. So you enter somewhere here. And this more than one is to one. So let me measure the pips. Huh? Oh, okay, okay, okay. This is a 946 points. Something like that. This uh, indices, so different from how we measure currency pairs. All right, so. Let me use this to check the risk, risk to reward ratio. I sell here, stop loss is here. So this one is to two. Yeah, for your fair Jason, one is to 2.14. It means when you risk $1, you're getting $2, which is not too bad. One is to two is not too bad. But then it is too high. So you can just bring a stop loss somewhere here. And you get what? 
almost one is to five. If you risk one dollar, you're getting five dollars. Ten dollars, fifty dollars. Five hundred. Oh, you are in millions. So you enter on the third touch. Here, if you enter here, you take your profit somewhere. You can be watching what market is doing. We have one position running. Market comes here, you broke this one. And then took the high. But then it is not really changing. That's why it's good to wait for at least two. The third one is the valid one. That's why as I'm drawing this in, the first one from here, second one is here. We do not take any trade because we are still not confirmed that we are really forming what lower lows and lower highs. So we come to the third one. Okay, now we are confirmed. This really lower lows and lower highs. So we enter here, we catch this one. Like I said, you don't need big move to make millions. So like that. Then we had this break. Market tried to what to to change direction, but then it couldn't. The sellers were too aggressive, so they took market back again after this consolidation. So if you know what you're doing, draw this market break it now. You enter again, you jump into it, and you sell like that. So this is where the market really changed. It broke here, came to retest, and then went up. All right. Any questions so far? Mm. All right. So I think that is now. Let's look for the let's look for consolidation. I just did it right now. The echo has an echo loose. That one doesn't need any trend line. When we come to channel uh, patterns, chart patterns, we'll discuss it over there. But for now, there is nothing. Well, that you connect, you have to connect the highs and then what? And then the lows. You can still use a trend line. Using a trend line doesn't make it straight. You know, normally use the horizontal line. I hope you can see this trend line. Now we are forming higher highs and higher lows. Shit, what is happening? Okay, so from the beginning, the momentum from the starting here, you can see, you see how strong it is. Market move with a very strong momentum. The buyers were in control. Then the second touch to the same thing. But when you go to the third touch, the momentum was reducing. You see how it is forming. There's no more moving like the way it used to move. So that's a sign that market is trying to do something funny. So you need to be what? Very careful. You need to be what? Very careful. And what happened? Market, as the momentum was reducing, market really changed to a different direction. The buyers lost momentum and then the sellers took over. From the beginning, the sellers were not moving too much like that. But as you go to this place, see the, see the candlestick. The candlestick are very big. So that's how you go to know that market uh -huh. is um, actually losing momentum. All right, is that clear with you? Obi, you can add your voice to that. You can add something to it. All right, so that's it. For the consolidating or the sideways, that's how you draw it. Something like this, or can use a horizontal line to just demarcate it. Well, the horizontal lines, you know when there is manipulation, when a week has gone to clear stop losses. You can see what happened here. This is what I call manipulation. They intentionally brought this week out of the, of the zone. Then they did the same thing to these people. So when we come to market manipulation, you understand it better. The same thing happened here. Those who like to be selling whilst market is what? Consolidating. 
they will buy they will sell here put their stop loss somewhere here now market to be coming and uh, then to reverse and go and clear them then those who also wish to buy they'll do the same thing to them maybe they buy somewhere here market went came back and clear them then went and now started selling again so this is a complete manipulation that's why it is good to stay away from what a sideways market so many opportunities market will be there forever all right oh that is clear for everyone if you have any question you can bring it on board then we wrap up and then end today's session please i request kindly try and subscribe to our youtube our official youtube channel we'll start dropping some content over the free content how to just use the what is the name the trading view for analysis i'm going to drop it very soon so if you do not subscribe and then turn on the notification you may not be notified when i drop it and as we progress we'll be doing live analysis over day two we'll show you how and when to take a trade how to how to break down the market for you to get some nice or buy all right if there's no question then i'm going away after that i hope today's lesson has gone deep has it gone well Yeah. Very, very well. So you can even start practicing. Those who are already advanced traders can start practicing this on demo. Just sure. Mm -hmm. sure. Join them, join them. Now the homework. Good. I have to give a homework today. You are going to identify high lows and high highs, at least one for each. You identify the consolidating market or sideways market market nicely for me. You screenshot. Then also identify an uptrend where we have lower, uh, higher lows and then higher highs. Then downtrend market or bearish market. Just screenshot, drop it on the chat. Uh, sorry, on the platform. Or you can send it to me personally or any of the admins. You have to practice what you Come again? Sure. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. If you have laptops, please start using it. Just install the app on it. When I do video on the trading view, I will let you install it on your laptops. Oh, okay. Yeah. Even in Tom, I missed the lesson. Just join now. Okay, sure. I will upload it. I'll upload it. It is recording. Okay. Any concern to share? Do you have any newcomer? If today is the first time of joining us, let us know. Hello, Tom. Yes, sir, boss. How are you? I'm doing well, and you? Yeah, I've been on the meeting. Okay. We have a newcomer from Botswana. I manage. But you wanna okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I managed to uh, say I have learned something. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah. We are happy to have you here. Yes, uh Mr. Abraham. Yes, sir. Uh, boss. Yeah, yeah, you're about talking. <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you, my brother. Sure. Uh, this is my first time. I've enjoyed something small. Sure. Uh, More thank you very much. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Who else is a newcomer? Let's know. This Pips Harvesting Academy. Very soon, we'll all start harvesting the Pips. There's plenty money. Plenty money. Thank you, sir. A lot. Last Friday, a guy made a, about a, a million dollars hey, that day. Hmm. People are making money out of the market, actually. Just a single news release in the United States. Anyway, he's already a billionaire. Let me even say a billionaire. So, loss size about 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 loss size. Multiple positions. 
market Hello, oh, I'm telling you, market was just going. I'll share the video on the on the on the platform so that you guys will see. Wow. It was a real account, yeah, yeah. Real. Yeah, from is it South Africa, yeah, South Africa. South Africa, wow. Mm. So for them, they, they 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 got the information about this forest for long. Mm. Uh -huh. We are now, most of us are now getting to know what forest is all about and see it to be a scam. People are still saying it's a scam. <laughs> uh, yeah. What is not a scam? You, you, you will scam yourself. If you are greedy, then the market will chop you. But if you want to learn and then make money, you learn, okay. you harvest the amount you can harvest and come. The next day you go and harvest again. Small, small, just like water or a stream where we all go to fetch. You can never fetch or you can never send all the water to your to your house. You first small, leave the rest. First small, leave the rest. Someone also come and fetch like that. Every day be fetching small, small. And before you know, you have a lot of water in your house. That's how the forest market is all about. Never be greedy. Don't go. If you have $20, do you no know, risk all a day. If you are getting $100 a day, a month is what? $30. Add them to the $30. That's $50. You're already making money. If you have 1000 account, you're making $10, $10 a day. Before you blow that $10,000, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $
It's good to lose right. in the forest right. market to learn more. Yeah. Bobby, you want to say something? Israel, tell them that I, I grow $14 to over $500. Israel. Sure, 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 sure. That's recently. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Some some of them even saw the $19 to $200. Uh, just within two days. Yeah. So when you get the knowledge, everything is possible. And when we get to advance, oh, yeah, advance. Yeah, let me say advance. We will show you how to even do all those things. How you can make handlers, you use risk or but you should be willing to lose it. And if that market should go over, then that is your starting point. You've made money for yourself. And you never lose again. Because when you have a bigger account, you don't be afraid to even lose more. So you'll be taking trade nicely, then your account will be growing, then your confidence level will be growing. Ladies are making money. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your efforts. I've learned so much from you since following you. Thank you, thank you, Queen B. God bless you. All right, guys, I think um, our time is up. So we'll meet, we'll meet again, we'll meet again. Wednesday, same time. time. I discovered. So please, can you trade only candlesticks? Yeah, I know people are trading only candlesticks. You can trade it, but you have to know the trend. Trend. If it is selling, it is a downtrend, and you are using candlestick to always sell. You will be making money. You be making money. Okay. Wednesday, same time. It may not be the same time though. 